Sulfasalazine, also known as a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, is used to treat ulcerative colitis, a type of bowel disease. It helps to decrease symptoms such as fever, stomach pain, diarrhea, and rectal bleeding. It does not cure the condition, but it can increase the amount of time between attacks. This medication works by reducing irritation and swelling in the large intestines. In addition to treating ulcerative colitis, delayed-release tablets of sulfasalazine are also used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. It helps to reduce joint pain, swelling, and stiffness. Early treatment with sulfasalazine can help to reduce slash prevent further joint damage, allowing you to do more of your normal daily activities. This medication is used with other drugs, rest, and physical therapy in patients who have not responded to other medications such as salicylates and nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. Typically, sulfasalazine is taken with food to help reduce stomach upset. It's important to take it exactly as prescribed and not to stop taking it without consulting your doctor. When taking a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, make sure to take it by mouth after meals with a full glass of water, as directed by your doctor. To prevent stomach upset, your doctor may recommend a slow increase in your dosage when starting treatment. The dosage is based on your medical condition and response to treatment, and for children, it is also based on weight. If you are taking the delayed release tablets, make sure to swallow them whole, and do not crush, chew, or break the tablets as this may increase the chance of stomach upset. It's important to drink plenty of fluids during treatment with this medication, unless otherwise directed by your doctor, as this will help prevent kidney stones. To get the most benefit from this medication, it's crucial to take it regularly at the same times each day. And remember to tell your doctor if your condition does not improve or worsens. For the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, it may take one to three months before you notice any improvement in your symptoms. The medication may cause stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, headache, dizziness, or unusual tiredness. If any of these effects last or get worse, tell your doctor or pharmacist promptly. This medication may cause your skin and urine to turn orange-yellow, which is harmless and will disappear when the medication is stopped. Rarely, delayed-release tablets of sulfasalazine may appear whole or only partly dissolved in your stool. If this occurs, tell your doctor right away so your treatment can be changed. Remember that this medication has been prescribed because your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. If you experience any serious side effects, such as hearing changes, mental-slash-mood changes, signs of kidney problems, new lump-slash-growth in the neck, numbness-slash-tingling of the hands-slash-feet, signs of low blood sugar, or severe allergic reactions, seek medical help immediately. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so if you notice other effects not listed above, contact your doctor or pharmacist. Before taking a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, make sure to inform your doctor or pharmacist of any allergies you may have to sulfasalazine, sulfa drugs, aspirin, mesalamine, or any other allergies. It's also important to discuss your medical history, especially if you have intestinal blockage, urinary blockage, kidney disease, liver disease, blood disorders, G6PD deficiency, asthma, severe allergies, or any current-slash-recent-slash-returning infections. This medication may cause dizziness, so it's important to avoid alcohol or marijuana which can make the dizziness worse. Do not operate machinery or drive until you can do so safely. Limit alcoholic beverages and talk to your doctor if you are using marijuana. A zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, may also make you more sensitive to the sun, so be sure to limit your time in the sun, avoid tanning booths and sunlamps, and use sunscreen and protective clothing when outdoors. It's important to note that this medication is similar to aspirin, and children and teenagers younger than 18 years should not take aspirin or aspirin-related medications if they have certain illnesses, without first consulting a doctor about Rye syndrome. If you are a male, this medication can temporarily affect fertility, so be sure to ask your doctor for more details. If you are pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor, as this medication may lower your folic acid levels, increasing the risk of spinal cord defects. 
prenatal care should include tests for spinal cord defects. This drug can pass into breast milk and could have undesired effects on a nursing infant, so be sure to consult your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, it's important to be aware of any potential drug interactions that could affect how the medication works or increase the risk of serious side effects. Always keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription slash non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Do not start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Some products that may interact with this drug include, digoxin, folic acid, methenamine, PABA taken by mouth. It's also important to note that sulfasalazine is very similar to mesalamine, so do not use mesalamine medications taken by mouth while using sulfasalazine. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain lab tests, such as urine normetinephrine levels and liver function tests, possibly causing false results. Make sure lab personnel and all your doctors know that you use this drug. As for the daily dosage and optimal timing, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions. They will determine the best dosage for you and the optimal timing for taking the medication. Always consult with your doctor if you have any concerns about how and when to take a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, and enteric coated. If someone has taken too much a zulfidine tablet and experiences serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical help. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. In Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include continuous vomiting, severe stomach or abdominal pain, extreme drowsiness, or seizures. It is important not to share your azulfidine tablet, delayed release, and enteric coated, with others. Your doctor may also recommend lab or medical tests, such as a complete blood count or liver-slash-kidney function tests, while you are taking this medication. It's important to keep all of your medical and lab appointments and consult your doctor for more details. If you forget to take a dose, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at the usual time. Don't take double the dose to make up for the missed one. It's important to store a zulfidine tablet, delayed release, enteric coated, at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure to keep it out of the bathroom and out of reach of children and pets. When it's no longer needed or expired, it's important to properly discard the product. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on how to do so. Remember not to flush medications down the toilet or pour them into a drain unless instructed to do so. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.